Hi, it's Lori. Today is round three, VLCD six. You guys like Kramer in the background? See him back there? Yeah, he's blocking the glare today. I thought, hey, that'll work. <laughs> I know, it's weird. That's okay. I'm kind of weird. The hubby. He is on a roll. He dropped 1.2 today. He has dropped a total in five days. He has dropped a total of 12.4 pounds. Yeah, he's at 201.0. Close to losing that man card, huh? <laughs> now he's all right. Um, me, I dropped 0.6 today. I am at 125.2, and that is for my husband and myself. That is an all-time low for us both. So, and today, the best part about it is today I zapped some fat. Yes, I did. My fat went down 0.8% today. I'll put my numbers down below in the description. Um, and I, I want to point out, too, that yesterday my husband and I were having our big, long talk since we were just the two of us here, and it was kind of nice to have an adult conversation. <laughs> um, one of the things we talked about was, you know, he's asking me, what is your goal for, what do you want your fat percentage to be? And I said, ultimately, I would like it to be at 20%. And he, he was kind of thinking that I meant for this round, but I don't. That is not what I mean. And I just want to make that clear. Um, right now it's at 25.1%. And I have no intentions of getting down to 20% body fat in this round. That's just overall, you know, in the future, that's what I would like it to be. So um, just wanted to clear up that little thing. Okay, what else? Oh, I'll show you what I did today. Yeah, I cooked up some two ounce portions of cod for post-workout. That's what I'm going to eat after a workout. And got it all seasoned up nice and cooked it up, put it in the freezer. So in separate little baggies. So I can just grab one out, warm it up, and eat it right after a workout. I wanted to tell you about it's been like a week or two ago and I had been meaning to tell you but I keep forgetting this girl that works at our local grocery store um, I, I don't go there very often because everything's so expensive there and there's not a real big variety to choose from so I usually go out of town for my groceries but anyway I went out there and since I don't go there very often she hadn't seen me in a while and after I paid I was getting ready to walk out and she was like behind that service desk thing and she's like, what are you doing trying to wither away nothing? And I know her from high school, you know, so it's not like I don't know her. But I just smiled and I said, nope, just trying to get healthy. Drop some weight, feeling good. And she's like, come here. So I walk over there and she's like, how'd you do it? And just like probably three, four, maybe even five years ago, I don't know. It's been a while. She dropped a lot of weight. I'm not sure how much, but she dropped a lot of weight. And she's kept it off all this time. And she's like, how'd you do it? And I, I told her HCG and she had heard of it and she knew a little bit about it. So I didn't go into explaining anything, but she got off on a little rampage and she says, well, you know, back when I lost all my weight, everybody was asking me if I was sick and I got so tired of that. And she says, I just lost my weight because I worked at the greenhouse. She says, I was working here and I was doing this and I worked at that greenhouse. When I worked at that greenhouse, I worked my butt off and I sweated and I sweated and I lost all this weight. So I just want you to know that I did it the hard way. And for a second, it pissed me off. But that's all right. I thought, it's okay. She's not educated on it. She doesn't know what goes into it. But yeah, I was a little insulted by that at first, but I'm okay with it. I'm all right with it. But I just had met, been meaning to tell you about that little story. And then another customer came up behind me to pay. And so I just, kinda, hey, you know what? I'll catch you later. And left. But yeah, I just thought I'd tell you about that little story. And I think that's about all I have to say. So see ya.